Hey guys, this is Project Slammy, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. Um, I just want to show you guys some changes that I made. Let's look at our stats, alright? Now, I taught him... That was actually Blizzard, I'm sorry. I actually kind of fucked up quite a bit in the last episode. Squidward now has Blizzard. Um, nothing really too different. But he, I leveled him up to level 38. You see he's pretty fast. Special attack is pretty good. Special defense is through the roof. We're going to need that. And his attack really isn't that bad. Uh, he has Sandy. Sandy's not too different. No, uh, Same move set, pretty much. You know, our defensive powerhouse. Okay, Noctowl, pretty damn good. Um, Obsidian, uh, Obsidian learned Faint Attack. Um, defense is good, Special Defense is fucking excellent. And, let's see, Naked, Naked kinda, you know, lost his pants again and decided to jump up to level 40. Because, you know, he, he was making us money in uh, the ocean. You know, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a minute. And then struggle. Yes, I'm going to use struggle in this fight. He's probably going to die, but you know what? Whatever. I'm a, I'm a fighting Pokemon trainer, okay? I use what I, I can, and I'm good to my starter Pokemon. <laughs> Even though I talk shit about struggle all the time, you know? Come on, we love struggle. Struggle's part of the game, you know, but here's where I trained, I trained, other than the two locations I showed you, I kind of shopped around, because obviously some Pokemon are not going to be adequate in certain areas, like, uh, Amp, up uh, Ampharos, Naked, my Ampharos is not going to be really able to fight the Gravelers and the Geodudes, because he just has Tackle, and Thunder Punch and Thunder Shock, and that's not effective against them. So, I trained him over here, I beat all those trainers down there, and um, I got Blizzard and Goldenrod after shelling out all my money, and now I'm completely broke. Like, legit. This is all I have in my name. So, yeah. And that's with- ah, you can yeah, and I accidentally got this idiot's phone number. <laughs> it's me, Wilton. Want to battle? The funny thing is, this is the second time he's called me within 30 minutes, so I have a feeling that we're gonna really start to hate Wilton very soon. So yeah, let's let's get ready for the battle, guys. Let's head in there. Let's start fucking people up. Cause I'm telling you, that's that's what that's what Squidward's gonna do. He's gonna fuck people up in this gym. Let's talk to this guy. You gonna give me a fresh water, bro? Yo, champ in the making. It's been a long journey. But we are almost done. Count on me. Claire uses the mythical sacred dragon type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know they're supposed to be weak against ice type moves. Okay, the Gary Oak. The Gary Oak get here before us? Nope. That's a fucking miracle. Gary Oak. What's going on, man? But yeah. I'm gonna show every single fight in this gym because of ELO. I'm just gonna show every single fight. I mean, all they have is Cedras, Dratinis, and Dragonairs. Nothing too fancy. And yeah, let's just shit all over these people. Uh, let's see how Acid fares against them. I, I, I'm always curious. I don't really use poison type moves that much. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. That's really not too bad. I do have I, I do have some TMs I might want to throw on some of my Pokemon before I get into the fight, but I think I want to save that for the Elite Four. Come on, Dratini! God, you're gonna be that guy at the same level Pokemon over and over and over and over again, aren't you? Yep. Same move sets and everything. And it probably has rap too. Watch, it's gonna use rap. Dragon Rage? Yeah, that's only gonna do 40 damage, buddy. Try harder. You get a gold star for trying.
Ugh. So, um, yeah, I guess this is going to be kind of like a bullshit episode. Um, let's see, what can I talk about? I had the strangest dream, okay? Basically, there was a Slenderman ice cream. And it didn't look like Slenderman, it was just this purple ice cream and it smelled really fucking good. And <laughs> I walked into Dairy Queen. It was at Dairy Queen. And the funniest thing is, are you fucking kidding me? No. This shit is not happening. Okay. Anyway, so I was at Dairy Queen. <laughs> and the funniest thing is, like, I don't think there was a Dairy Queen within 500 miles of here. So, pretty much, um, because I live on Long Island, we don't have Dairy Queen here. The nearest Dairy Queen, I believe, is somewhere in upstate New York. So, pretty much, you know, fuck it, I'm digging. Digging a hole. Get the fuck out of here. So, pretty much, th there was a Slenderman ice cream. And I'm like, I want that because it smells good. And the lady, it was a black lady, and she told me, she's like, if you eat that, he's going to come after you. I'm like, it smells really good. So, <laughs> that was with my friend Kurt, too. <laughs> so, we buy the ice cream. And when we walk out, there's a bunch of woods and everything. And we start walking home, like, I guess to my house. I'm not really sure what our desti where our destination was. But, um... Shit. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I'm not sure what our destination was, but... Yeah, we started walking. And then... I see... I, ke I keep seeing Slenderman. And the thing is, I used to be terrified of him. Used to be terrified of Slender Man. But then I had this dream where I beat the shit out of him because I found him in my brother's room. So ever since then, I, I don't know, he just doesn't scare me. And honestly, the Marble Hornets tag on Tumblr really doesn't help with <laughs> all the fucking, like, gifts and everything and all the jokes. Okay, anyway. Um, let's see the obs obsidian. So, I, I see him in my dream, and normally it would just be like a chase dream, that's how my typical Slenderman dream goes, because I have a lot of chase dreams, I don't have like a lot of nice dreams to be honest, but my, my dreams are always vivid, that's the thing, and I just look at him, and I just think it's so funny, because, like, just thinking back of how it used to be, it used to fuck up my whole day when I had a Slenderman dream, and it used to scare the shit out of me. But when I saw him, I just turned to Kurt. I'm like, there's the bitch right there. <laughs> he did nothing. He just stood around. Like, and that's what Slenderman usually does, but usually he's more menacing. He was just standing there, just like, there, like, I, I don't know. He just wasn't intimidating. And I was like, yep, there's the bitch right there. <laughs> and I just keep on walking my merry way. And, like, you know how, like, you'll be, like, walking around in a game? Like, let's say you're playing, uh... Shit. Where's a good game? Where, where, like, the background doesn't render all the way. And when you walk through, like, an area, it renders and the background pops up. He's, that's kind of like how he would pop up. He would just, like, pop up all over the place. And I'm just, like, getting so fucking annoyed. And I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that ice cream. But it smelled so good, and it's the dumbest fucking dream I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and the fucking ice cream was purple. I don't even know what the fuck it had to do with him. But apparently, purple is the color of death. <laughs> and if you eat purple ice cream, freaking Slenderman's gonna come after you. Yeah, we got this guy. <laughs> I mean, I dream very vividly, like... A lot of my friends, apparently they dream in, like, black and white and shit. Like, I dream, like, I have colors, I can feel pain, you know. I think logically in my dreams, most of the time. Like, you know, sh shit makes sense, like, to a point. Like, I don't know, there's always, like, explanations behind things. Like, it's not like I just ate ice cream and then Slender Man, like, I don't know. It's, like, all this, like, weird shit. And that's probably, I probably had this fucking nightmare about fucking like well not a nightmare but i probably have not dreaming about ice cream because before i went to bed i fucking watched this video of jim Cornette flipping out at dairy queen 
I think that has something to do- I don't know why Slenderman became a part of it, but Slenderman... Oh, God. Just... I have no idea. I don't know, I dream about the weirdest shit sometimes. I don't even know what to do with myself. You know what? We're not gonna use Naked in the next fight. You know who we're gonna use? We're gonna use Struggle! Yeah, let's see, what else can I- what, what else is new, noteworthy? Since I'm just gonna bullshit and talk about random things, uh... <sighs> There's nothing really do. I- I just- I work a lot. I work like, fucking, like, 40 hours a week. I mean, but it's like morning shifts, so I get really tired. I'm not a morning person, so <laughs> it seems like so much more for me. Like, me? If you notice, like, all my fucking videos are at night. Like, it's nighttime when I play because I can't, like, I don't know, I, I can't function during the day. I, I, I don't even want to record. Like, for some reason, like, three hours ago, I'm like, oh, I don't want to record. I want to take a nap. And, and, cause I usually, well, this week I work eight to four. I usually work, like, six to two, like, six to three. Because, like, I can basically leave whenever I want. Like, after my full shift, so I can stick around till four. You know, but whatever. So, like, usually I, I spend, like, at least, like, an extra hour or so at work. But, even though, like, I have eight hours, but I work, like, nine hours. It's pretty nice, but, you know, I have a lot of shit to do. Because they gave me more shit to do. But, oh, this isn't ending right. This isn't fair, motherfucker. You fucking kidding me? Okay. But... You know, I'm not a morning person. I just, I can't. Like, it seems, like, so draining for me. Getting up is the worst thing. I don't mind being up. I, I have no problem being up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'll just stay up all fucking night. But getting up out of bed and making myself productive is what's worse. Like, I don't want to leave my Pokemon blanket. I've had this Pokemon blanket since I was 9. I love this thing. And quite personally... What if I jump down this hole? Oops. No, that doesn't work. Well, I got Claire's box. Ooh, this guy, I think... I think I know what to do with him. Okay. Um... Shit. Wait, or I can use this guy. Who would be easier? I have to use one of them. Okay, yeah. This guy gets pushed down. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. I think I finished all this. Did I? Did I already finish this gym? It's only been 13 minutes. This episode's probably gonna be like 20, 25 minutes. I'm sorry if it is. I don't really mean to have like really long videos, but shit happens. What can I say? I mean, I'm a very ambitious person. I like to get shit done. Not really my fault. Uh, let's look at this boulder. I'm not too bad with the boulder puzzles. Like, this isn't even really a puzzle. These boulder puzzles are pretty easy. If you can see what the fuck you're doing. You know, but, okay, yeah. Cool. Wait, what's yonder? That's not right. I wanna go fight that bitch. I wanna fight everyone. I need as much experience as I can get. And, like, fucking... Okay, let's jump down this hole. Let's see who's over here. Anyone? Ops. Oh, fuck that. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna fight Claire. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just fight Claire. Let's get it over with. Let me go heal. Still got one more bitch. Still. I, see, I, I knew there was more to this. Okay, we're gonna fight Claire in the next episode. And then we're gonna make our long-ass journey to Kanto. Let's fight this bitch first, because... Her and her little levitating Pokeball. She thinks she's so cool and... Yeah, see? A cool trainer. How did I know? Really? You're not cool. Go fuck yourself. I just healed my Pokemon for you? You're not a threat. Are you kidding me? Let's use Faint Attack. Fuck that. Faint Attack has a cool animation. I, I don't know. I always thought it was cool. It's like he's turning invisible. I'm like... Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's cheap. I'll put your ass to sleep. You, I'll just do it out of spite. I wouldn't even have to do that. I'll just send out Noctowl and do it out of spite. Honestly, that, that's how I am. 
I do it like out of vengeance, it's really funny, but... Okay, let's just do a test drive. Uh, Squidward. We need you, Squidward. Come on, Squidward, we need you. Yeah, this... I should have really cut probably a little bit more, but you know what? I need these episodes just to show fight in action, because we have, like, episodes like the Ice Path and freaking um... Like, the Ice Path and, you know, episodes like that, and it's just a drag, like... Like, you want to see battles, not just, like, me advancing in the storyline, like, bloop, 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 like, just skipping around. Like, I don't like watching LPs like that either. But then again, I don't want to show, like, 8 million rocket fights, and I forgot that every single trainer has, like... But you know what? There's not that many. It's not that bad. Okay, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna fight her for reals. You know what? No. Let's wait till the next episode. In the next episode... I'm going to beat this bitch. We're going to get our badge. And we're going to get the fuck out of here. And we're going to head on to bigger and better things into the major leagues. We're going to see new places. And we're going to be done. Man, we're going we're gonna to do the after game. We're going to beat the game. We're going to beat the game again. We got a lot of shit to do. And this bitch is standing in my way. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Silver. I am Cardic Slammy. And I hope you have a good day. And I love you. Goodbye.